Hello everybody. So it is Friday evening. We just got back from the store and running our errands and I picked up some like chicken fencing today, like chicken mesh that like wire stuff. I don't know. I am going to attempt to put it around all of my little garden areas because the rabbits and the prairie dogs have been eating my sprouts already and I knew this was going to happen, but I didn't prepare for it. So I am going to pull out some tea posts. I'm going to pull out that like wire stuff, the fencing, and my T-post pounder, and we are going to try to protect my gardens and see what happens. Hello everybody, happy Sunday. Welcome back to another vlog. It's 12 o'clock. Uh, we just cleaned the horse trough and are filling it with filtered water. And I'm about to go outside and harrow. And I wanted to show you because I've talked about our harrow a couple times. Um, but when I last talked about it, it was really snowy outside and the harrow was buried in snow. So I couldn't show it to you anyway. So I'm gonna go outside and harrow. I'm gonna try something a little bit funny today. So, the best method, in my opinion, for pulling a harrow is to have a UTV or an ATV, uh, but we don't have one of those, and those are a bit expensive. We don't really want to drop, you know, $10,000 on a UTV right now. We have pulled the harrow with our truck 
Uh, we have an F-250 Super Duty, so it's a pretty heavy duty truck and it does a great job, but the truck is so big and heavy that we don't want it ripping up the ground, especially because it's spring and we have some grass coming in. So instead of using the truck, I am going to hook the Harrow up to my 1992 Honda Accord, okay? That might sound funny because it is, but I looked it up and the Honda does have a towing capacity of like 2,000 pounds, I think, and the Harrow is only 175 pounds. And it does have a little hook where I can just hook the Harrow. So I'm gonna hook the Harrow up to my old, old Honda. The Honda is older than I am. And I'm gonna see um, if it can do a pretty good job. If you're not a horse person, or maybe you want to have your own horses on your property, I think this is an important thing to talk about. There are different ways to handle manure, horse manure on your property. Horses can poop up to 50 pounds. Like each individual horse can poop up to 50 pounds of manure a day. So with two horses, that's up to 100 pounds potentially of manure per day out in the pasture. So it builds up really, really fast. Some people will pile it up for you know however long, months, three months, six months, depending on how many horses you have, and then have somebody come and pick it up. We have looked into that, but because we're in a more rural area, there are, you would think because there are a lot of horse people out here that there are a lot of pickup companies, but there are not. So we don't really have the option of having somebody come out and pick up manure for us. The second option is to pile up all of your manure into like a compost pile. People who have tractors that can actually lift the manure and turn it so that it composts properly, um, that's a really good choice for them or some people will turn it by hand. For us, I don't feel like that's a very good approach. I would like to start composting our home scraps, but just, for the two horses and the amount of manure that we have, I don't think turning a compost heap by hand would work for us right now. And then the third option, or you know, the third option is kind of like an umbrella, is either leaving it, is just like leaving the manure out in the pasture. If you have a large property, that can be fine because it'll break down and it'll just go back into the soil. And that works for the most part here, but there are some areas where it builds up heavily because the horses will stand in certain areas to eat, or you know they'll nap in certain areas. They have like certain areas where they hang out so the poop builds up there. So those are the areas that I'm gonna hit with the harrow today. Um, the harrow can be pulled either with the tines down and it can dig in or it can be pulled flat. So I'm gonna start by pulling it flat behind the Honda just to disperse the poop and break it up so that it can compost and break down faster. And then um, there are just a couple of areas like in front of the water trough and in front of the barn that need to be um, like I need to drag the harrow with the tines down to stir everything up. So I've just been talking for five minutes. Let's stop talking, go hook up the harrow. I'll show you what the pasture looks like and we will see if my 92 Honda Accord can pull our harrow. Okay, so I came out here to start the Honda and pull the Harrow, and the battery was dead. So I plugged it into our charger, and the charger says that it's a bad battery. So our battery is dead. I will not be pulling the Harrow with the Honda today. So I'm just gonna get the truck out, and we are going to very, very, very lightly Harrow with the truck, with the tines flat, and we're gonna see how that goes. Because I still want a Harrow today, and I'm gonna show you how we do it, so. Let's go do that.
everybody. It is, hi Bobo. It is Sunday, June 26th, and we are having a really nice, like, cool weekend. Um, the monsoon winds are moving up from Mexico, I guess, right now, and we're having cool temperatures. We're having a lot of rain, um, which is awesome because it's really, really dry here and we could really use the moisture. So it rained for a while last night. Um, now it's like very foggy and kind of misty and cool and it's supposed to rain again this afternoon. So hopefully that'll happen. Um, we like lightly harrowed our main like dry lot. It's not really a dry lot because there's grass and stuff out there, but we lightly harrowed it yesterday and then we lightly harrowed a small portion of our pasture. Um, we don't know anything about um, like rejuvenating pasture land or anything like that, but we're trying to learn and we're trying to, I don't know, just try different things. So what we're trying, you know, this time around is, like I said, we harrowed a very small portion to, and our harrow doesn't rip like grass out. It doesn't, it doesn't like decimate an area. It just kind of lightly drags and opens the dirt a little bit. So our hope was by doing that right before a rainstorm, hopefully more moisture can get into the ground. Hey, Mew, she wants to eat. So that's what we did yesterday. Today, I want to clean the house. It is a Sunday. I typically like to clean on Sundays to try to kind of prepare the house for the week, the work week. This morning I made um, vegan cinnamon rolls. Oh my gosh, they are so, so good. I just, I woke up and I made coffee and I just thought I, I really want something like warm and sweet and I don't often crave sweets. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make some cinnamon rolls and they turned out so good, they're delicious. And then tonight I think I'm gonna make some Thai curry. I love making Thai curry on cold nights. So we're gonna do that. But for now, I am going to turn on some music and clean the house a little bit. I'm gonna feed Mew <laughs> because she's crying here. Um, and I don't know, I guess we'll just see what we get up to today on this. Technically it's summer, it's a summer day. I know that it's summer now, but it very much feels like spring here <laughs> because uh, we're at such a, a high elevation that it's pretty cool <laughs> most of the time. Let me see what our temp out is right now. It's currently 52 degrees out, feels like 48. So even though it's a summer day, it feels like 48 out. We have the heat kind of barely turned on. I'm in a sweater and it's, it's pretty beautiful. I'm not somebody who likes um, really warm temperatures. I would really never want to live in a place like Florida or, you know, like South Texas or like any place that's really, really hot. I don't think I would, I would function very well there. Um, I like the cool temperatures. So the mountains in Colorado are the perfect place. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get to cleaning, I suppose, and enjoying our really rainy, relaxing summer day. <laughs> All right, let's go, Bobo. Okay, so I'm done cleaning the house and you can probably hear George, our robot vacuum, in the background. He's been working for a while. Um, I think I am going to potentially 
plant, see if I can plant some, um, maybe some sunflowers, maybe some more romaine or some basil. Um, my garden isn't doing super well. If you guys have seen some of my previous videos, I'm, tr I'm like a total beginner gardener. I'm trying to learn how to garden and grow our own food. And it's not going really, really well here. And we have a super short growing season, so I don't have a lot of wiggle room to like mess up and try again. But I do have some pots out in the garage that I think I might grab and, hi Mew, maybe plant some sunflowers because I do have a bag of little sunflower seeds, um, you know, just for like the beauty of them. Maybe plant some more romaine and some more spinach because I know that those are two things that we will definitely eat. Um, and those I believe are like cooler season crops. They do like the cool weather. So I think they would thrive here if I could just get them going and figure out how to like help them thrive. So I'm probably gonna put on a different um, sweatshirt so that I can go work in the dirt and yeah, we'll, we'll see what I end up doing. So I think I might try to grow indoor basil in these little ones. I do have basil planted outdoors, but it's not doing well. And I think it's just because it gets so cold here. It's not really friendly for basil. So I'm gonna try basil indoors, and then I think I might plant some sunflowers in this, or some more um, like spinach or something. Let's let's see. I'm trying to decide if I should do sunflowers or lettuce. Probably lettuce or spinach. Probably. We eat so much romaine, it'd be awesome to actually get some to grow. Okay, everybody, it is 4.30, and I'm going to start making my Thai curry. Um, my tofu was in the freezer, so I've been thawing that out for a while. It's in some warm water right now. Um, I have learned that if you freeze your tofu first, then after it thaws out and you drain all the water out of it, it's more airy, um, and it's not as like soggy if you're trying to put it in soups or you know air fry it, stuff like that. So. I am going to prep the tofu, toss that in the air fryer that my mom gave us for Christmas and start prepping the curry. I honestly have been looking forward to this all day. So I'm hungry, I'm ready to go make dinner. Let's head out to the kitchen and start cooking up some curry.
Okay, everybody, I just finished making the curry. It smells absolutely amazing. I've been taste testing it. It tastes so good. And I think this is the best like crispy tofu I've made so far. I'm definitely figuring it out. Um, hopefully it'll start raining soon. It's, the weather said it was gonna rain all day and it still hasn't started and it's 5.30. And I didn't water my plants today because I've been waiting for it to rain. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it starts to rain soon. It's still supposed to, so we'll see. <laughs> Honey, look at time.